down spectrometer, which take a look at the elemental composition of the soil and the abundance of those elements, giving tremendous insight into the surface properties of the south polar region of the moon for years and years to come for the scientific community. Absolutely indeed. So we've got the visuals of the Indian Prime Minister who has taken such an important personal interest in, in this mission. He's just begun to understand arrived at the ISTRAC Center at ISRO in Bengaluru. Uh, and Dr. Sengupta, just, just to pursue a bit further in terms of some of the things that, that are being looked at, uh, you know, till 2008 there was a big question mark on whether water did even exist or not. But now there are estimates that say that there is, you know, water to the tune of almost about 100 million tons uh, on the poles of, of the moon. Uh, is that a real viable, uh, you know, scenario that this much amount of water could exist? on the moon? I think it definitely is. Um, I'm sorry, was that a question for me? Yeah, that was a question for you. Okay, yes, I think that's definitely the case. So the measurements that Chandrayaan 1 showed give an indication that's what's there. And so the measurements that Chandrayaan 2 will make will take a look at, um, from the orbiter, for example, how deep that water is, how difficult it will be to extract, and that will be a valuable resource to any future human um, exploration and colonization efforts that will be there. Just like the gentleman who's on the line with me as well had mentioned, it can be used for uh, water, uh, for growing plants, it can be hydrolyzed for oxygen, for air supply, as well as for growing food. So the, and even for fuel to give you liquid oxygen. So the idea of being able to confirm uh, the measurements that were made from Chandrayaan 1 with Chandrayaan 2 to a higher degree of accuracy is key to future human uh, lunar exploration. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Sen Gupta, for joining us and getting us all those insights. This, this of course, is a big moment in India's space exploration. No one is sleeping. And we've got the Indian Prime Minister. It's 1.30 in the night. But there he is at the ISRO Center, the ISRAC Center in ISRO in Bengaluru. And he will sit through along with about 73 other students. He's accompanied by the ISRO chairman there and he will be watching the developments as they unfold. Now, the Indian Prime Minister, of course, has taken a personal interest. He's put out a series of tweets since morning stating that he will, of course, watch out for what unfolds in the moon mission. Chandrayaan 2, remember, this is by far and arguably one of the most ambitious moon missions that has ever been attempted. Besides the fact that water, the evidence for water was first established through Chandrayaan 1. Now there are estimates that there could be as much as about 100 million tons of water. There are other experiments which the Pragyan rover will conduct. Pragyan is a word that means wisdom and this is a rover that will slowly move around on the surface of the moon. Uh, and Mr. Srivastava, you know, as we look at these visuals of the Indian Prime Minister has taken such, such a huge amount of interest, you know, a lot of people have spoken about the footprint that was left by Neil Armstrong at the time that he had, in fact, set foot on the moon. And one of the interesting aspects that not a lot of people are aware of is that the ISRO scientists, when they designed this rover, designed the wheels in such a manner that as it plots through and slowly rolls over onto the surface of the moon, it actually leaves the emblem of India imprinted on the soil of the moon. Absolutely. Uh, the way the rover has been designed is to not only imprint the Ashoka emblem, which is the emblem of India, but also ISRO's footprints are going to be there. It's going to leave the mark of ISRO's emblem as well. As also, you must understand. It and is because there is no kind of erosion by air or water, these emblems could virtually last forever. Could they? Till such time an Indian astronaut goes and walks there and discovers, <laughs> takes a <laughs> selfie with it. <laughs> but that seriously speaking, mm -hmm. uh, the lander is going to be moving incredibly slow. Yes. Sorry, the rover is going to be moving incredibly slow. It's going to move about one centimeter per, per minute. minute. So this means that the imprints would be there, good and proper, and possibly would be there for somebody to come from India maybe a few years from now, maybe 10 years from now, and see not only the imprints, but also the lander and the rover, Vikram and Pragyan, waiting for them. Absolutely. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. They're going to be there. They're going to be there. <laughs> And, and they'll, of course, be sending in a lot of important data for us. It's also now listening to what is unfolding. 
चौदह बज के तैतालीस मिनट बारह सेकंड पर नौ सौ तिहत्तर दशमलव सात छः सात सेकेंड की उस उड़ान ने चंद्रयान को एक सौ इक्यासी दशमलव छः एक सात किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर छोड़ा था मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा मैं प्रार्थना करूंगा कि अभी आपको एक छोटी सी वीडियो क्लिपिंग के जरिए उसी तरह की उन्हीं घटनाओं की याद दिलाई जाए ताकि हम यहाँ से और आगे बढ़ सकें इस समय हम करीब करीब 11 मिनट की दूरी पर ये एक छोटी सी वीडियो क्लिपिंग आपके लिए जिसमें हम ये कोशिश करेंगे कि आपको याद दिला सकें कि कैसा था वो प्रक्षेपण of the view of the mission control.